Hey guys, Mason here at Lasco Ford with the 2021 Ford F-150 Raptor. This personally is a vehicle that I'm super excited about. Uh, the Raptor is a very unique vehicle. It's, Ford was the first one to come out with the vehicle that is this off-road capable. And each year they keep making it better and better. Uh, first thing that's new on this generation is all of the LED lights up front. They redesigned their signature three lights in the grill and their lights that come around here on the fender flares. Uh, fun little fact, this is 73.6 inches track width. That means from outside of tire to outside of tire, we are at 73.6 inches. That's six inches wider than the stock F-150. Uh, another cool feature with this Ford is the, the awesome Ford logo here. It's, it's subtle and yet bold. When you see it coming down the road, you know exactly what it is. Uh, this specific truck has the 360 degree cameras. That means that on this truck, you have six different cameras. Here is one of the forward facing cameras that actually has a little wash sprayer right here. Uh, not only is that helpful off road, but it is also helpful when you're on a, you know, a, a cold wet day when it's raining out, a little salt in the road, you get a little spray off so you can still see what's going on in front of you. Uh, this is the active aero uh, shutters behind the grill to help aid in uh, cooling and fuel economy on this vehicle. Uh, coming up to the hood here, we've got some awesome decals here. Uh, Ford upgraded their hood and they actually have active cooling within their, uh, their signature Raptor hood here. Uh, not only do, is it active cooling here, but as air flows through, it cools and it comes out right here on the side, which is an awesome feature. Uh, I really enjoy a lot of things on this truck specifically, but one of my biggest things on this truck is I'm going to come down here to these monstrous 37 inch BF Goodrich all-terrain tires. The cool thing about this truck is it is a Raptor 37 performance package. That means that you get a couple of upgraded features. They do a couple features on the interior that we'll go over in a little bit. But the biggest thing on that 37 are these large 37 inch tires uh, with the signature 17 inch wheels that, the, that Ford st stuck with throughout all the, all the generations of the Raptor. Coming over here, we've got the paint matched mirrors with the LEDs on the side. I spoke earlier on the 360 degree cameras. Here's one of these side cameras there. As you can see, Ford thought of everything. They color match the handles for you, which is an awesome feature. I'm personally a person that does not like to see handles. So if they can blend into the paint, that looks a lot smoother, a lot cleaner and a lot better. Uh, we have the classic Ford Raptor uh, running boards here, coated in a nice bed liner. That's, that's a great feature, especially with uh, what you're planning to do with this truck. What people buy this truck for is to go off road. Those are huge. Those will help you out. You know, when you're getting uh, stuck deep in a rut, something like that, you got to get out and see where you're at so you can see where you're going. That's a great feature to have to be able to step and get into the truck easily and safely. Coming back here to the rear, new to the Gen 3 is the five link suspension. So previous to the Raptor, they used a leaf spring suspension that gave you 13 inches of travel up front and 13 inches of travel in the rear. What Ford did was they redesigned this whole thing. They gave you uh, what's called a four link down here. And then the fifth link on that is actually a pan hard bar. That allowed for Ford to get an extra inch of travel from their suspension. So now you have the classic 13 inches of suspension travel up front and you gain 14 in the rear. Uh, also that's true with the Raptor is we have the Fox shocks. Uh, these are the, uh, it's a new generation valving, uh, live valve, I'm sorry, new generation live valve shock that you, you can actually select what mode you want in that vehicle. And basically, real quick explanation of what that does is you can change how those shocks respond with the push of a button inside the car. And we'll go through that later once we get to the interior. Uh, carried through, we also have the LED light here on the rear. Uh, Ford does a great job of showing all of their uh, side profile LED lighting. You definitely know when you're looking at the side of this vehicle that it is a Ford because Ford is very signature in their lighting and that's one thing that I can really appreciate about them. Uh, side logo, we have the 37 here. Uh, and then this is also a map of uh, Baja on the side of this vehicle, which is uh, a pretty cool wrap. Um, coming here to the rear, you've got the carried on through, you've got the nice Ford logo, you got Raptor and then a little 37 here, a nice, nice little spot there. Um, you got dual exhaust here in the back. And another cool feature on this truck is double click your remote and you've got the tailgate that drops down. Uh, cool to this is we have a work surface here. So not only do you have of a click of a button trying to get stuff into the back of your truck, a nice step, 
with a flip out handle. You also flip this down, have a nice work surface with clamps here and there so you can clamp down on your work surface. And while you're running your power tools, you have a 2.4 kilowatt plug right here. So you can actually run all of your power tools off of this. You don't need any battery powered. Uh, we've got the traditional tie downs here in the bed of the truck. Uh, one of my favorite features on this truck specifically is not only is it a power down lift gate, but it is a power up lift gate. That's going to be huge when you're, you know, on the rush, you're trying to get away, you throw your stuff in the bed of the truck and you're trying to get out of there. That's a quick, easy touch feature. Uh, a lot of people I think are really going to appreciate that in the, in the new Raptor here. Uh, we've got a light here. Uh, this is one of the six cameras here on the back. Uh, another camera up there on the chimsel that, that you can look at the what your cargo is going, what's going on with the back in your in your cargo. Cool feature there, uh, and that basically wraps it up here for the the back end of the truck, the whole truck on the outside. So uh, let's go ahead and head on to, into the interior and see what we got going on in there. All right, guys, here we are in the 2021 Ford Raptor. Uh, we're getting in on the inside. Before I get started, this uh, is a very unique color to this Raptor specifically. This is uh, Rhapsody Blue is the color of this. Um, if you check out here on the door sill, you can see the, the true color of it and, and the different textures you have. You have, the, you have the leather there, you've got the red stitching. Uh, Ford does a great job of inlaying some of their carbon fiber. It's got the B&O sound system here. Uh, really just, when you open that door, it's an eye catcher. It's just an appealing looking uh, interior, just from the get go of opening the door. Uh, because this is a Raptor, you have the Ford Performance uh, logo there right when you step in. Another cool feature is here on the side, you have the American flag. I, these trucks are built in America, and I, I think it's huge that Ford thinks everything through, and they're they're willing to include something like that and uh, little details like that. As you're coming through, uh, you can kind of see this here. Uh, this is all textured, and that that truly shows how much craftsmanship the craftsmanship that Ford puts into these vehicles. Uh, another cool little option here, a little hidden hidden cargo space right above. Uh, they followed through with the with the carbon fiber here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and power this thing up so that we can see some of the features. Uh, one of the biggest things in the new F-150, which you've probably seen in a couple other ones, is the fold-down shifter and the flip-out workspace. Uh, this is huge for the everyday guy that that is, uh, you know, using his truck for work. And this this is a sturdy work surface that you can use. Uh, as I said before, Ford's awesome with their texture to making making their stuff feel like true quality. You've got almost a, a barbell knurling here. Uh, which you can slide back and that, go ahead and charge your phone. You've got USB ports in there and a slot to hold another phone if you need to. Uh, we, we've got illuminated cup holders here. Uh, Ford did a great job. They did the 12-inch screen on the for the Sync 4 here. It, it truly brings all of this interior together. A uh, couple cool features. Like I said before, you have your 360 camera. Uh, this is a front view. This is a, a kind of a skewed uh, side view just because my doors are open here so it doesn't look exactly as it should. But you can go through and you can change all of your views. Just a little quick overview so you can see what's going on in front of you. You can see your cargo as I spoke on previously. Um, oops. And you can see your trailer camera which is cool. If you had a hitch it would be, it would be right here. Uh, so just a lot of cool features that Ford thought about for you. Um, Right here on the steering wheel, uh, not only is it wrapped in this nice leather, uh, and they also carry in the, the red uh, stitching that matches the Recaro seats, but you can come over here, and we have three modes here. You've got, uh, similar to the GT500, you have your steering. Um, I'm not sure why it's not coming up. Oh, there we go, there's your exhaust. Uh, I think I actually have to switch the mode here. And Start it up if you want. Get us, yeah, let's go ahead and fire it up. Okay, here we go. So now we have your uh, steering mode. You've got normal, you've got comfort, a little less effort, uh, you know, for your everyday driving. You go into sport, you get a little bit more feel. And then uh, there is actually a Baja mode that it only allows you to go in when you uh, are in Baja mode. So I'll show you that in a little bit. Um, we also have, as I spoke before, the uh, valving and the shocks. So you go from your more normal everyday driving into your sport mode, uh, makes them you know, handle a little bit better, a little bit stiffer. And then once you go into your off-road mode, that's what truly is what this built or what this truck was built for. Uh, this is the mode that you know when you're ripping down a uh, dirt road or you're ripping down the back road, you're trying to go as fast as possible, and those shocks are moving. Uh, those shocks actually have a, an external reservoir 
to cool the shocks. So as they're moving, you know, you've got a bunch of moving parts, everything's going, they actually heat up. That extra reservoir keeps uh, the, the shocks cool so that they're functioning at 100% at all times. Uh, so that's something you can switch here uh, to make sure that all that is active. Another cool feature is the exhaust modes. So you have four modes here. You have your sport mode, your normal mode, your Baja mode, and, uh, and your quiet mode. And quiet mode is actually extremely quiet, you know, keep it, keep it down so you don't wake your neighbors, that sort of thing. Um, I personally think sport mode is the mode that I would drive in. It's, it's loud, it, it sounds great. Uh, this has the 10-speed transmission in it. It's got the 3.5 liter V6. Uh, and with that comes uh, 450 horsepower out of the high output uh, 3.5 and 510 foot-pounds of torque. Uh, so that, that is a level up from the 430 and the, uh, the lower torque that we saw on the previous model years. Um, this has the 10-speed, like I said, so you have the paddle shifters here, uh, up and down, which is, is a great feature. It's super responsive. It's a, it's a great vehicle to drive. Uh, this specific model has the uh, panoramic sunroof, which is awesome. It makes the vehicle not feel so much like a truck. It gives you more of the sports car feeling. You let your hair flow through the wind, that sort of thing. Uh, while we're panned up here, Ford also, like I said before, they thought of everything. They give you six auxiliary switches. Uh, one of these switches is actually uh, tied into the rigid off-road lights that are covered on the front bumper that we looked at earlier. Uh, a couple other cool features. You have your, your normal uh, storage here. I know there's a lot of Ford accessories you can get. You can get a safe that locks into here, uh, which is pretty cool. You want to lock your belongings down. You've got your 12-volt receptacle here and your 120 volt plug, which is super handy, and your USB ports as we spoke about earlier. Uh, this one does have the uh, trailer brake controller and pro trailering mode, which are both awesome features that came from the F-150. Uh, just, just Ford really just thought about everything. They, they definitely go the extra mile to, to make their customers happy. Uh, that's probably about wraps it up here in, on the interior of the vehicle, and uh, now we're gonna go ahead and head back out. All right, guys, I'm here on the 2021 Ford Raptor. Uh, we're gonna get right under the hood here. Uh, like I said earlier, Ford did a great job of adding coolers. Keep the motor cold up here. Uh, this is the 3.5 liter high output. So you see your Ford performance here with a beautiful Raptor logo right on top. Uh, like I said earlier, it's 450 uh, horsepower and 510 foot pounds of torque. As you can see right through here, it might be a little hard on camera, but you can see the active cooling that, that Ford thought of as it's coming through. Uh, just really a great feature, keeps the uh, inside of the engine bay nice and cool, so when you're on those long, hot desert roads and you're ripping as hard as you can, it try and, it's made to keep all of this nice and cool. Uh, you've got active uh, cold air intake here, which is a, a nice little feature. Uh, now that we've looked at the inside of the engine bay and uh, given, you, given you a couple stats, let's go ahead and see what this thing sounds like. All right, guys, it was probably hard to hear on the camera. Um, to be honest, you really got to hear this thing in person. This vehicle, it looks amazing and it sounds amazing. Uh, it probably didn't really do it justice, but let me tell you, we get you down here at Lasco Ford and Fenton. Uh, you come see me, Mason, here, and we can go through this thing in person. This is a, uh, one of our stop vehicles. This is not a customer uh, ordered vehicle, so this is for sale. Uh, we'd love to get you guys down here, visit us here at Lasco Ford. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel. Uh, we've got plenty of new inventory coming in, and we're going to have a lot of these uh, nice, unique vehicles here at Lasco Ford. So we look forward to seeing with you.